Hello friend, in this video I am going to discuss about how to find out the first and last digit of a given number by using C sharp programming. Suppose if user enter 897, then the first digit that display 8 and the last uh, digit that display 7. And uh, the number must be greater than or equal to 0. And if the user enter single digit number like uh, 8, then the output display first and last digit 8. So this is here Visual Studio. So this all code that I already written to save some time. Now here this is a uh, uh, while loop here I am using. So if you debug the code or run the code, the main first control comes to main method here after that coincide so here I have taken integer variable n so here after console dot right line so this or display into the output screen enter any number and that accept to whatever we enter that's or that accept into or a string and after using in dot parse that convert into integer and store into n Suppose if uh, we enter the number 678 Now here after int d2 equal to n mod 10 So mod operator that return remainder So n value that I enter or uh, 678 Now here 678 mod 10 Equal to so mod operator that return remainder so that here the value come 8 now n value go to d1 so d1 new value is now here d1 equal to 678 now here after y d1 greater than equal to 0 678 greater than 0 condition at this space true now here after the next is that coincide here d1 slash equal to 10 so if you write or you can write to uh, this d1 equal to d1 divide by 10 ok so d1 equal to d1 divide by 10 now here after d1 divide by 10 so d1 value is now 678 divide by 10 so divide that return quotient so 678 6 7 8 divide by 10 then the value it divide by 67 times so cos and return 67 now here after while loop continue then that checks d1 new value is now 67 67 greater than equal to 0 condition is to that coincide so next to 67 by 10 so it divide by 6 times now here after 6 greater than equal to 0 condition false so if the condition is false then that coincide so at here first digit equal to d1 so d1 is now 6 and last digit equal to d2 so d2 is now 8 so that when you run then the output display 6 and 8 now let's so uh, enter 678 so here you can see first is a 6 last digit 8 it's a display now here after uh, we can enter any positive number so if i enter a single digit number 6 then first and last digit it's a display 6 and uh, we can enter a uh, number big number so here you can see first is it 8 last is it 8 so at this place you can try with uh, do while or for loop to find out the uh, first and last digit of a number using cesar.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you